Oh, hi. Sorry, I was just catching up with some business. Hi, welcome back. It's been a long time. Um, my husband and I spent the last month moving and so I have a pretty good reason for being absent um, in the reselling circle and YouTube. And that is because I had to set up my new studio. I have natural sunlight now, which is more than I could ever ask for. Um, my previous studio was in a basement, which had flooding issues and no natural sunlight and mold and spiders and um, really just ticked off all the boxes of, of what you don't want in a studio. So anyways, I'm so happy with how it turned out and I can't wait to show you guys. So let's go ahead and get into the tour. It's gonna be really short because it's a very small room, but let's go. Well, so there you have it. Um, oh, I love it. It just makes me so happy. This is my favorite room in our house now. Um, I spent probably three to five days before just trying to figure out what I wanted to do for the mural. It's very like 90s Bill Nye um, science themed. It just looks like a wave of amoebas just passing through. I got a bunch of things at um, Ikea to help put the room together, like these gold brass shelves, um, that lamp, which I spray painted um, with a textured uh, pottery spray paint, um, spool holders from Joann's, some dried floral from afloral.com, yeah my oil's going of course. And then I got this tool uh, pegboard from Ikea and then the table from uh, World Market. Anyways, I'm super happy with it. Um, I love the way that the room feels now. I have my processing rack here. I have all of my bins here and a second processing rack there and then a bunch of other stuff in there which we don't really need to get into um, because it's just not very aesthetically pleasing. So we can just forget about that area and go right back to here. So, um, I have my poly mailers down there and uh, plastic bags. I can just come in here with my laptop with all the items that I photographed, get the measurements here, um, get them bagged up, and then have them processed in the bins. It's all very streamlined and I am very happy with how it turned out. And now I spend most of my time in here. But that's kind of it. Let's go ahead and get into the haul because I have to get this stuff listed because summer is going to be up in four weeks. So. having natural light. I feel like I don't even need the ring light. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> um, so like I was saying, we are in the first week of August and so this is typically the time when um, fall and autumn clothing is on the mind for retailers and resellers. Um, but again, because of the move, I am so far behind on listing that I still have so many summer items. So I'm just gonna try to get them all listed in the next couple of weeks. And so anyways, uh, let's uh, stick with tradition and start with the shoes first. So first I have these Madewell leather slingbacks. Um, I didn't notice in the store, but um, there's a bit of damage on the heel. Um, so I just went ahead and priced these at 35. 
Um, up next we have these Zara basic cognac leather uh, woven wrap, wrap sandals. They're Tory Burch and Hermes. Um, but yeah, just a super simple style. I paid probably $6 for these and I'm hoping just to do an easy flip and sell them for $35. Um, this is my first time finding this brand. This is Sundance. And I think it's kind of like in the realm of like soft surroundings, anthropology, free people. I know that this um, specific style sold on anthropology because that's where I got the stock photo from. Um, but these are cute. They're just 100% leather, tan, um, woven sandals. There's quite a bit of damage on the back. It looks like something maybe chewed them or I don't know. Um, but anyways, these retailed for about $200 and I have them currently listed for $65. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I have all of my pricing on Poshmark is pretty much inflated like 20 to 30% of what I actually want to get for the item just because of lowball offers and um, I've noticed that most of my sales generally just come through offers to likers and in order to do that you need to send offers of either 10, 20 or 30% to the people who have liked your item and if you price your item at the price that you want it then you really don't leave yourself very much room to um, send offers out. So anyways, 65 for these but I really just want 50. More sandals, I have, this is a pair of ASOS a square toe uh, wrap up sandals. These probably retailed for like 40 to $50. Um, and so I'm just hoping to get like 30 or 35 for them. I think I paid five, four or $5 for them, but they're brand new. I bought them for myself, but they're a bit too narrow. So um, that's the great thing about thrift shopping is if you buy something for yourself and it doesn't fit, um, you just sell it and either break even or uh, maybe even make a little bit of a profit. So, hoping for profit on these. We have these pretty much new um, Tiva sandals, which are very popular this summer. Um, they're the platform uh, foam sandals with um, leather, geometric leather print straps. I have these listed at 65. They retail for about $90. And I mean, they're pretty much new. They've probably only been worn like once. And I found these at um, Crossroads Trading and I, uh, they were actually half off. So I think I paid like $12 for them and hope to get 65 for them. These are another pair of Madewell shoes. Um, I'm starting to be more and more picky about picking up Madewell just because it's becoming more and more saturated. Um, but I found these at Goodwill, they're brand new. They have never been worn. And uh, they were listed at $15 and I actually got in trouble for these because um, they were in the new bin and apparently depending on what goodwill you're at, they don't like you to go through the new bin until it's um, out on the floor. It was on the floor, it was just a bunch of buckets of shoes that hadn't been put on the shoe racks yet and I thought it was free game and I got in trouble with these. And I was digging through them and then I got in trouble um, but I did I did get these out of the mess, so it was kind of worth it, but now I know better not to do that. They're a size seven and a half. There are some comps online, I think, uh, like in the 60s from like 50, from anywhere from like $30 to like 90. So since these are new, I just went ahead and priced them up at 90 and we'll hopefully sell them for at least 70 or more. And then up next, these vagabond shoes. Um, if you can tell by my Frank Sinatra impression, these are Vagabond shoes. This brand of shoes generally retail for about $150 to $200. Um, they're in excellent shape. Um, I think I paid like $20 for them at Buffalo Exchange. They're size 39, which is a great size. And I am just going to go ahead and get these listed at like $130 to $140 or so. Um, but would love to make over $100 for them. It's everyone's favorite. Um, these are a pair of pointed toe Rothy's in a fire truck red color. It's actually chili something red. I don't remember the name of it, but I paid up for these. I paid um, I paid twenty eight dollars for these at Buffalo Exchange, um, but I currently have them listed for one fifteen. They retail for about one fifty, um, and I'm hoping to get at least like ninety or hundred for them. Anyways, Rothy's are tough these days because there are so many. Um, fakes and duplicates out there that it's hard 
to know as a reseller uh, what you're picking up, but I double checked and this one is, and these are authentic, so in the clear there. But yeah, do some research about Rothy's before you buy them because there are a bunch of, um, there are a bunch of counterfeit pairs out there, so be careful. Next up is Dansko. Um, these are the Tia or Thea um, wooden clog, not maybe Mary Jane, I don't know, Mary Jane's, Mary Jane heel, um, and they're really cool, they have, they have this really fun cutout, and uh, they're in pretty excellent condition, they look like they have barely been worn. These probably retailed for like 150 to 200 and I currently have them listed at 120 I would be happy to get over 100 for them. Um, and I believe that I found them at Goodwill and paid 15 for them. Up next is one of my favorite shoe brands to sell. Um, this is Paul Green. It is a luxury Austrian um, shoe line. It's a luxury line. <laughs> Of shoes from Austria um, that are so expensive these probably retailed for like 400 um, I know that they primarily sell them like at Nordstrom and this is one of their most popular um, styles this is the cayenne boot and I sold a pair of this before I think I pay or I think I sold them for like a hundred or so um, but anyways um, these I might just go ahead and send into thread up I've been experimenting with brands lately and sending things into into thread up like the stuff that the stuff that's just been kind of sitting in my closet. There's been a couple of Paul Green shoes where I've actually made more money for them on ThreadUp than I originally had them listed on my Poshmark closet. So um, I think I'm definitely gonna send those in. These are a size six and a half uh, UK, which is probably about a nine uh, US. Anyways, they're in great condition and they're very cute. Next is one of my favorite shoe brands to pick up um, style-wise, but for some reason I still have like, th I've probably purchased about four pairs of them and they still haven't sold, so maybe I shouldn't be recommending these, but these are a pair of intentionally blank, uh, blue suede lace-up heels. Um, this particular style sold on Garmentory and Anthropology. It's a size 38, and so with our, uh, new home comes new thrift stores near that area. We only moved we only moved like 30 minutes away, but there's still new thrift stores and um, this was a new store that I went to and I saw these and they were $4. They retailed for over $200. I have them listed right now for $100 um, because they are in such great condition and um, was really happy to find these. So intentionally blank, um, buy at your own risk because I haven't been able to sell any of the four pairs that I've had listed, but they still make really cute shoes. Next, I don't know if you recognize these, but these were one of the most popular shoes a couple of years ago for like the boho girls. Um, this is a pair of Jeffrey Campbell. This is a collaboration between Jeffrey Campbell and Free People. And this is the lace up. This is just a leather lace up wooden heel boot. Um, and these, I believe they retailed for like over $200. It's called the minimal boot. And uh, yeah, these were very, very popular a couple years ago. They were half off at my local crossroads, so I went ahead and took a chance on them. Um, I have them currently listed for 85, which I think is a pretty good deal. I would be happy to get over 70 for them though. They're still really cute. Still cute, still got it. Next is another pair of Free People. This is a really beautiful kind of snake skin effect suede boot. Big block heels. Pretty neutral beige color. Um, these are a size 10. They are brand new with stickers on the bottom. And I paid 28 for these at my local consignment store. Um, and I hope to sell them for over like 150 I have them currently listed at, because they did retail for about 250 So anyways, that's them. Tori Birch has been doing really well for me lately, especially on ThreadUp. So I went ahead and picked these up from Crossroads. Uh, that's the logo. Um, and they're really cute. They're really tiny. They're a size five and a half, but they're like a very classic preppy style with like this linen canvas. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. With this linen, it's okay. It's linen and it's leather. It's linen and it's leather. It's just a very classic block heel style. Um, I went ahead and listed these because I haven't gotten any new thread up labels to send in. 
Um, but if they don't sell, then off to thread up they go. I have these currently listed for 135 and I would just be happy to get anything over like 110 or 115 for them. I believe I paid 15 for them at Crossroads. This is my first time finding these. They're so cute. They are called Birdies, which is the name of my cat, by the way. And it's just this really cute pair of suede fringe slide mules. These are also really tiny. They're a size five, but they're so cute. And they just have this really luxurious plush quilted foamy footbed, which is so nice. And um, these retail online for $100 and I currently have them listed at um, 75 just because they're a very in-demand style and brand. I'm gonna be honest, I'm sweating a lot and this is a dress I was planning on selling and now I'm sweating. I borrowed this dress, it's a piece apart, and I borrowed it from my Poshmark, my Poshmark closet and now I'm sweating so much and I don't wanna ruin it. <laughs> I guess it's mine now. Anyways, anyway, so this is one of my um, favorite finds to date. This is a pair of by far shoes. Um, I found these at Crossroads. They severely underpriced them. I paid $16 for them. They are brand spanking new, never been worn. And they're this really beautiful lilac lavender croc embossed um, mule heel. The really cool heel. Anyways, these retailed for over $400. I paid $16 for them. They are brand new. They're a great size. They're size seven. And um, I went ahead and got these listed because I was so excited. Um, they're very cute. They did puncture a hole in them with the price tag, which I'm a little bit bummed about. Um, but I'm sure it's fine. It's not super noticeable, so I'm sure it's fine. I made a note about it in the listing. Anyways, I went ahead and listed these for $275. I would be happy to get anything over $200 for them because they're still in stores, full price, and they're so cute. This is my first time finding and picking up this brand. This is Camper. These are a pair of um, almost like Birkenstock style uh, leather wrap sandals. They're a size 9. Um, they're in great condition. I think I paid $8 for them at Goodwill. And yeah, they're currently listed online for I think 120 or 130. So I went ahead and listed these at 85. Hopefully there'll be a quick sale. This is Seegerson, Seegerson Morrison, which is a designer shoe. These are a size 10, um, snakeskin, and um, I was gonna say patent leather, but I think I just mean plastic. Plastic and snakeskin, uh, two tone booties. Um, I paid, I think I paid too much for these. These were half off at Crossroads and I definitely paid too much for them. Um, like $20, cause there are comps anywhere ranging from $30 to like 200 for these. Um, anyways, I just went ahead and listed these at like 100. So we'll see how they do. If they don't do well in Poshmark, then um, into the thread up box. Got some cork wedges by Calzini or Calazini, Calazini. Um, these are brand new, made in Spain, cork and leather wedges, new at the price tag, retailed for $160. Um, and these are actually sold by Soft Surroundings. They're a size 42, which I think translates to like an 11 or 11 and a half. Um, and these I went ahead and got listed at 120. So we will see how they do. This was a really great find at Goodwill. Um, these are a pair of brand new espadrilles by uh, Castaner. Castaner. This is a brand that is um, often worn by like Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle. And if you don't know, Poshmark buyers love the Royals and they love the Royals clothes. So if you find any clothes that are worn by the Royals, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, pick it up because it will sell fast. Um, but anyways, these retailed for about two to three hundred dollars on net a -Porte. I went ahead and listed these at 150 because they are pretty much brand new. They are brand new and they're so cute. So anyways, hoping that those sell um, in the next couple weeks because we're heading into fall and there's not a ton of weather opportunities for espadrilles. So um, this is another really, really great find. One of my favorite finds at Goodwill. First time finding this in the wild. This is a pair of Frida Salvador um, leather sandals, which are really cute, just studded sandals. 
so cute. These retailed for $400 and they're still in stock on Shopbop. They were a little rusty, I had to do some cleaning, but um, for the most part, they're in pretty good shape. So I think I'll go ahead and get these listed probably at like 175 or so. They're really cute. And then as far as accessories go, um, this I'm actually keeping for myself. This is a brand new with tags Bagu leather bucket purse. Well, this retailed for 150. It's very made well. And I paid 24 for it. And it's cute. This is a, an ace and jig. Um, I thought it was a vest at first, but it's actually a blouse, a button up blouse. And it's really cute. It's got these metallic stripes. It's a size small, an oversized small. It's a really cool quilted pattern, which is true to the ace and jig aesthetic. Um, and I went ahead and listed this at 125. So I'm hoping it'll do well. I know that Ace and Jake has kind of a cult following with it, so. And then next up is this Just Female, um, new with tags, super clean, crisp tunic top, um, which is great for summer and also a transitional piece into fall and also spring, so a three season shirt. Um, and it's really cute, it's a size small. It reminds me of like a painter's smock. It's in a new condition and um, yeah. There's a lot of dust, but that comes with the trade. I found this at Buffalo Exchange and I hope to get it listed for $75 to $100 since it is new with tags and it's a very classic staple piece. This is by the Jet Set Diaries and this is what the new tag looks like. It's just TJD. Um, but this is a really cute crossover snakeskin print blouse with these long tie-dye bell sleeves. Um, this is the Python wrap top. And it retailed for like over a hundred something dollars. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and list this at like 65 to 75 dollars or so. It's really cute wrap top with kind of a slouched front um, and then with a high low hem. This is Jay Godfrey. This is um, a brand or designer that's primarily sold on Revolve. This is just a really beautiful 100% silk black blouse with huge Stevie Nicks bell sleeves. Anyways, it's just a really great staple piece and adds just a little bit of dramatic flair, which is very fun. And uh, yeah, I think I'll probably list this at like 50, 50 to $65 or so, since it is 100% silk and it's in great condition. Um, and I found this at Crossroads and I got it for half off. Next up is a new to me designer. This is Arthur. This is Arthur, which is a small independent um, company I think located in um, Pacific Northwest area. Anyways, this is just a really cute 100% linen um, blue gray crop top, button up top. And um, I, I love to feature independent designers and um, clothing that just really focuses on quality and sustainability. And this is one of those pieces. So a collective, a creative collective for modern minimalist, which is exactly what I want my closet on Poshmark to look like. So, checked off every box, I picked it up. Probably sell it for like 70, 60 to 70 dollars. This is um, a blouse by the brand Equipment, which is a very high quality, expensive brand. I got this for half off. It's got this pleated button down. It's got like a snakeskin reptile print which I'm still picking up. It's 100% silk. Um, I haven't sold any equipment pieces on my Poshmark, but I think it might be a good brand to send into thread up, so I might just go ahead and do that. If not, like I would hope to get at least like 75 to 85 for this, because it is pretty much new with tags. It's in perfect condition. I found this Ackler piece um, at my local crossroads. It's a really beautiful 100% linen striped, um, kind of like kimono top with this huge belt attachment, attachment belt that's attached. Um, and anyways, when I steamed it, I found a bonus. 
a bonus prize. It's new with tags. And I didn't even know that. I bought it thinking that it was used. So anyways, um, this was also half off at Crossroads. It's a very expensive brand. And um, I think it'll do really well. I'm probably, I'll probably list it at like 100 or so. Got another silk top from Equipment. Um, this is just a gold metallic polka dot top. 100% silk, really, really beautiful. Um, this would probably be better to sell like in the holiday season, but I still think it's really cute and very lightweight and summery, so I picked it up. Um, I'll probably list this at like 100 or so just because it, um, it has the glam factor, which I think you can up the price a little bit on. Ouch. So anyways, probably 100 for this. If I'm not really picking this up anymore. This is Free People. I can't sell Free People stuff. In fact, I'm actually emptying out all of my bins that have Free People in it that's currently listed on Poshmark, and I'm just gonna send it into ThreadUp, which, because I think it'll do better on there. Um, it's just been sitting for me. Like for six months, I've had Free People, really cute Free People pieces that have been reasonably priced, but they just don't sell. Um, but anyways, I found this piece. It's brand new. It's this really cute dress. I paid $5 for it at my new local thrift shop. I'll just price it lower, and if it doesn't sell, then I'll just send it into ThreadUp. I picked up this Free People piece, Free People piece, um, from the same thrift shop. It's probably from the same person who donated it. Um, but this is a dark navy tunic, long sleeve. I'll probably just send this into ThreadUp as well. Um, this is a brand that I have not seen in a while. Um, and also I'm not sure if, is it, if it's even worth picking up anymore. I've had one new with tags dress that has just been sitting in my closet for the longest time. Um, but this is for Love and Lemons. This is a long oversized uh, paisley print dress or feathers, maybe they're feathers, with big bell sleeves. Um, and I only picked this up based off of price. It was half off at Crossroads. Um, it was half off of, at Crossroads, which probably tells me maybe it's not a good idea to pick up because it didn't sell there. Um, but anyways, I hope to sell this for like $50 to $65. So we'll see how it does. Um, this is a navy... Is it Cupro? Oh, I don't know. Um, this is a piece by Vince, which does not sell for me on Poshmark, but sells for me on ThreadUp. So anyways, this was half off at Crossroads, so I went ahead and picked it up. It's just a drawstring long sleeve uh, dress. And I thought it was cute and um, it was half off, so I picked it up. If you're a Bachelor fan, you will know this dress. <laughs> this is a dress by Sunday Muse. Um, if you ever followed the Christina drama, the Bachelor in Paradise drama and Blake drama from a couple years ago, um, this is the red stagecoach dress that was made very popular on Instagram. And I picked this up at my local Crossroads and I think it retailed for over $100 or so. It's just a very popular style. It's an off the shoulder um, red floral mini dress. So anyways, I hope to sell this probably for $75 to $100, we'll see. How do I remember bachelor facts from like four or five years ago but I can't remember what I did yesterday? crazy um, up next is a brand I've picked up often this is by Maj which is a very expensive brand this is just an easy bright orange dress with um, ruched elastic sleeves I'll probably go ahead and send this into thread up um, but I think but I picked this up at my local Salvation Army and it looks like there's a stain so I'm gonna have to do some stain treatment this is Everlane, which I do not pick up as often because it just doesn't sell very well. But I thought this was a really cute summer piece. It's just a long chambray tunic dress. And it was half off at Buffalo Exchange, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, hoping just to get like maybe 40 to 50 for this. Uh, love this brand. First time finding it in the wild. Have bought it online before. This is Rolla's. It's an adorable linen dress, very 90s inspired, like Meredith Blake would. Um, and it's really cute, it's got the back ties, of course. Um, it's currently online on Shopbop for I think over $200 or so. So I think I'll go ahead and get this listed at 125 to 150. It's like, an, it's in excellent condition. This is Yumi Kim, which is a designer that sold at Anthropology, 
And I lucked out and got two dresses. This must have been the same person who donated, but I got a medium and I got a large. Um, and these are really cute. They've got these like big billowy elastic sleeves, really dreamy pattern, and it's just a really fun oversized dress. I'll probably get these listed at like 75 each or so. Yumi Kim usually retails for like 150 to like 300. This is Ally and J, which is sold at like Revolve and Nordstrom, and this is a 100% linen. Um, that might not be true. That's not true, it's polyester, rayon, and spandex. <laughs> Feels like linen. This is a um, plaid blue jumpsuit. Really cute, really basic, open back. Um, bought it based off of style, and I'll probably sell it for like $35 to $50 or so. Got another Revolve piece here. This is a collaboration between NBD and the Naven Twins. And this is new with tags. It's very pink, it is not my style, but I think that it'll do well. It's just this easy like skater dress. Very, very pink. Um, probably will sell this for like $35 to $50 or so. So this is a piece, I think this is also Yumi Kim, but maybe this was her older label that was just called Yumi. But it's a really cute shirt dress. I think it's silk. Wrong again, it's polyester. Feels like silk. It's this really cute long t-shirt with these cute little geometric arc shapes. Arch, arc shapes. And it's really cute and really sweet and um, very current. And even though it may be like, not recent, but it, it just looks very recent, even though the tag is probably like 10 years old. So anyways, um, I thought that I'd probably list this at like $50 or so. It's very cute. Oh, and it has a waist tie. So this is a brand called Whistles. This is my first time finding it in the wild. It's this really cute kind of smock dress with this really fun like embroidered wave pattern on top. And then these really cool like, I don't know what kind of sleeves, you could just one inch sleeves. Um, anyways, this is an expensive brand and it retails for a lot. Um, and I think I'll probably list this at like 85 to 100 or so. Whistles is kind of like, Whistles is like mostly sold on like garmentory and like it's kind of a modern minimalist um, clothing brand. So very cute. This is Maeve by Anthropology. It's a very recent piece. It's still for sale online. It's just a really cute halter polka dot black and white dress. Um, I think I paid like $6 for this. Um, I generally don't pick up Anthropology anymore, but if it has the label by Anthropology on it, that means it's recent and that means that it's probably worth looking into um, to resell. So anyways, I'll probably list this for like $50 to $65 because it's in great condition. Up is another Anthro piece. This is by the designer Rana Gill. Uh, Rana Gill does a lot of bohemian is a lot of bohemian um, dresses. This is uh, this is a 100% silk, multi-tiered, not bell sleeve, um, mock neck dress with these little tiny mirror sequins on there. Um, comps look to be like in the 70 to 85 range, so I will probably list competitively. This is Veronica Beard. Veronica Beard, new with tags, size 16, which is a great size to sell. Um, and this I found at Buffalo Exchange. Unfortunately, it is still for sale on Nordstrom Rack, which isn't a great sign, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it listed anyways. Uh, but this retailed for $600, and I'll probably get it listed at like 200 or 250 or so. It's such a great size, and it's such a cute style. This is another Revolve brand. This is Lovers and Friends. This is a really cute um, long sleeve maroon skater skirt. Again, new with tags. Uh, with a full open back, scandalous. And a full skater skirt. Um, I haven't looked at comps on this yet. I think I overpaid for it. I saw it at Goodwill and I got really excited. It's really weird when you're in different stores. Um, in your mindset of what you're gonna buy changes. Like if I saw this for $16, like in a buy-sell trade store, I'd probably be like, mm-mm, that's too much. But um, the selection at Goodwill isn't as curated uh, as at these buy-sell trade consignment stores. It's probably overpaid for this, but 
I'm hoping to sell for like at least like 65 to 75 or so. This is a piece by The Fifth. Um, and this is a long sleeve crossover romper. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the same as the fifth label, which is um, a, a brand sort of sold at like Nordstrom and um, Revolve. Anyways, cute long sleeve romper. We'll probably list at like 50 or so. It's cute. Um, again, another anthro piece that um, I was very selective and picky about picking up, but this is Maeve. Um, and it's a really cute piece that I would wear myself if it was in my size, but it's just a very long, high slit side tunic uh, with long sleeves and really cute buttons. I haven't looked at comps yet, but this is a size small and I think that um, I'll probably list it, I don't know, maybe 50, 65 or so. It's really cute and it looks like it's pretty much just new without tags. This is a really beautiful piece. I thought that it was Gal Meets Glam at first, which has been doing really well for me. But this is actually uh, Rachel Parcell. And it's a really, really beautiful piece. It's a midi length, long sleeve, friggin' garden party, high tea dress um, with full buttons, full fabric covered buttons all the way down. Um, these ruched elastic sleeves, which are really beautiful. But uh, anyways, this probably retailed for like 250 or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this listed at like 135 or 150 or so. It's a very in-demand style and it's very cute and kind of formal, so. I found this at Goodwill. Very selective with this brand. This is All Saints. Um, but I found this piece and thought it was very um, current and timeless and was very cute. This is just a midi, um, crepe, pleated, pleated, um, midi dress. It's very cute. It's very simple. It's a great basic. Um, I paid 15 for it. Uh, Goodwill is catching on. Um, but anyways, I'll probably list it for like 75 to 85 or something. It feels like silk, um, but knowing me, I know that I'm wrong. It is polyester. It's number three. Zero for three for me. This is Galmate's Glam. This is new with tags. If you don't know, Galmate's Glam closed their doors uh, recently, so we are not going to be getting any new pieces for them, from them, which is very sad because the pieces that she makes are very beautiful and very feminine and and so cute and nice, but, um, and they also sell so well for me. Like I've consistently been able to sell a Galmate's Glam for like over $130 a dress. Um, but anyways, this is, um, I'm not sure the style, but it's just a very cute lilac lavender dress. Um, it is maxi, it hits right at the ankle. Um, anyways, uh, it's a size eight. The color is hydrangea, I'm sorry, not lilac. It's hydrangea. I don't know how much I'll list this for. I'll probably list it over 100. Maybe 100, we'll see how it does. Buffalo Exchange. So as I'm expanding into new markets, such as ThreadUp, um, I really wanna start reincorporating vintage back into my shop. And this is so cute. It's a maxi yellow plaid embroidered apron with these cute little ruffle sleeves. Oh my God, it's so cute. Um, yeah, it's maxi full length. I'm pretty sure this is from the 70s. It is vintage. It's so cute. Um, I got this for half off at Buffalo Exchange. Ugh, oh, look at the embroidery work. It's so beautiful. Um, anyways, I'll probably list this at like 50 to 60. And speaking of vintage, <laughs> um, I found this incredible 1960s wedding dress with this extremely dramatic veil. Like It's like a three layer. <laughs> I gotta take it off. Um, oh, it's so fun. I think you wear it like this. I'm pretty sure you wear it back like this. But it's a 1960s wedding dress with this veil. And I found both of them together for like $20 at this new thrift store. And it's so pretty. It just has like this floral embroidery everywhere. And it's so long and beautiful and cathedral. I posted this on my Instagram and... One of my fellow resellers said it reminds her of Liz Taylor, and I completely agree. Um, only downside is that it has like rust stains in there, but like, who cares, you know? Um, gotta figure out how to clean that. Here's the dress, it's absolutely beautiful. It is a floor length 
um, mock neck ruffle bib with um, beading detail. And then same on the sleeve, it's got like a, it's peasant sleeves with an elastic cuff sleeve with again ruffles and beading detail. It's really sweet buttons on the back. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, it was definitely handmade in the slip that it came with. Um, in the slip that it came with, the zipper was broken, so I'm just gonna sell it as is without. I did stain treatment with it that took out all the stains and really whitened and brightened it. Um, but I have no idea how much to sell this for. Um, I did start selling on eBay uh, about a month ago, but um, I might have to open an Etsy shop for this one because it's so special and it's so beautiful. Um, next, I bought this based off of Style. This is a brand that I thought was like a Macy's brand or something, but um, I think that it's actually sold at quite a bit of retailers. Um, I bought it off of Style and Size because it's a size extra large, which is a great size to find. It's a really beautiful maxi um, prairie dress. Again, we're still really riding this prairie drain um, with uh, chiffon flutter sleeves. I'll probably list this at like $85 to $100 just because it is more formal and um, has a bit more value to it. So anyways, um, got this for half off at Crossroads. Um, next up is this really beautiful dress. It's got like, it's a purple dress with um, heart polka dots. And it's really cute. This reminds me of Mandy Moore's wedding dress. And um, I picked this up at Buffalo Exchange. The brand is Lady Meets Girl, which doesn't really, it's, I think it's I think it's an overseas brand, but anyways, I just bought it based off of style because it's so cute. It's so 1950s prom. Um, it is maxi. I guess it is maxi length. Anyways, I think I only paid like 14 for it. So anyways, um, I hope to sell it for maybe like 50 to 60 or so. But this will probably be like an eBay Poshmark sale. Next up is uh, Lac USA or or Laca. USA, Laka USA, or La I think it's Laka USA. Um, but anyways, this is a another kind of garmentory brand. This is a full length, super easy breezy maxi dress. Um, I'll probably list this maybe like sixty-five to seventy-five dollars or so. Um, I found it at Buffalo Exchange. Super '90s Prairie Revival, of course. Oh, and it's new new with buttons, which is pretty much new with tags. Um, next up is this 100% silk maxi dress with this geometric pattern and like full wooden buttons all the way down the dress. And this is uh, Plenty by Tracy Reese, which is sold at Anthropology. I might just send this into thread up because it's not super my style, um, but I'm hoping to get like maybe 100, 85 to 100 for it. This is a brand that I've only found and sold once, but this is Jen's Pirate Booty, which is, again, expensive boho brand. Um, but anyways, this is just a long maxi captain dress with ruffles down the sides, and then high, um, it might just be, I think it's a swimsuit cover-up actually, and then high slits, and then a waistband. It's probably retailed for like two or 250. Um, so I think I'll probably list this at like 125 to 150 or so. I think this was my best find of the day. I found this at Crossroads and I paid full price, which was a whopping $16. First time finding in the wild. This is Spell and the Gypsy. It is a full maxi dress. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but the comps on it were like 250 to 300. So I went ahead and listed it. At $300 open to offers eBay and Poshmark and Mercari um, yeah I can't believe how much I can't believe how much this stuff resells for it's crazy because the quality isn't like amazing like it's just rayon and cotton so but anyways they have quite a following so happy to be a part of that this is another one of my favorite finds at Crossroads I saw this on the wall when I walked in and like I immediately ran to the front desk to ask for help to get it down. This is a new with tags, Saison maxi dress. I paid 40 for it. It's a size 12, which is a great size. And I probably will sell it for at least 200. Saison sells so quickly and so well for me. It has such a following. 
Um, so anyway, I was really excited to get this listed. I'm not a pants person, obviously, um, but I want to branch out. So I picked up two bottoms, and I'm also not an activewear person either, but um, I really love this brand. Um, this is Outdoor Voices. And they make really nice activewear pieces that are size inclusive. Um, but this is just a three color, color block pair of leggings that are really cute. I paid a lot for them, I paid 25 for them. So I'm probably not gonna make much of a profit. Um, these are pretty much new without tags, never worn. I think that they retailed for about 75 to 80 dollars. So I'll just go ahead and get these listed at like 60 or 65 or so. Not a jeans person either, but um, I I know that this is a very expensive brand, and so I went and picked it up. It's uh, Adriano Goldschmied, A G, Adriano Goldschmied, and this is the Farrah Skinny. Um, and these are only five dollars, and they look like they're in great condition. So these I'm not even gonna bother with on Boshmark. I'm just gonna send them in the thread up. Um, but anyways, as resellers, we are constantly learning. Um, new ways to make money in this business. Okay, well I'm gonna go get this stuff listed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I know it was a long one today. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time.